Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. I'm here at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym with men's classic physique pro George Peterson, who's six weeks out from the Arnold Classic. You can check out the video of him posing on NPC News Online. George, how's your prep going from the video and from the pictures? You look phenomenal. Thanks, thanks, Frank. I really appreciate that, and uh, thank you for the interview. And I also want to give a special thank you to Steve Weinberger and Beth Francis for allowing us to use the gym to make this posing video. But uh, my Arnold Classic prep is going very well. You know, I mean, uh, me and my coach Justin Miller, we recently turned up the volume. We and basically what that means is he's starving me much more now. <laughs> you know, so um, you know, because the goal is to come in the best that I've ever looked, and I feel extremely confident that that's what we're going to do. So, I mean, you ended the Olympia in September, now you march, it's a short, you know, short distance between the two. Have you made a lot of progress in that time? Uh, yes, I've made uh, an, an extreme amount of great progress. You know, that was, the, that was one of the, the, one of the um, deciding factors that me and Justin made when we decided to go for the honor because we were hesitant at first because we wanted to make sure we had enough time to progress for the next Olympia. Right. But, I, you know, I expressed to Justin that, I, you know, I still felt fresh and I had no doubt in my mind that I could compete in the Arnold and still be able to make the necessary improvements to go into the next Olympia so we could, you know, move up those two spots. And, and, and that's exactly what's happening. You know, my body is responding well to this Arnold prep and I still feel fresh, fresher than ever, and I'm ready to go. So obviously the next question is, what improvements did you make? <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely, <laughs> we've definitely made some improvements in the legs. Right. We made some improvements in the arms. And, that, and those were our two um, you know, points that we really wanted to improve on. You know? And of course, we wanted to make the back even crazier. You know? And uh, we, we've done that. And, you know, and we, and we we've, uh, came up with a, a different strategy come, come in showtime. Because you know? you know, for the Olympia, you know, we, we were in great condition, but you know, we were a bit flat for that prejudging. And we know the, we know the mistakes we made you know, for that, you know, and we, we, we know what we're going to do to correct that going into this Arnold. If you go through social media, um, any bodybuilder now, I just saw Juan Morel's post, everyone's talking about your back. <laughs> so did, did we improve the back even further for this show? Because <laughs> everyone's like, you're, you're synonymous now with the back pose, and right. shows are one from the back. Right, right. So, you know, people hope, are hoping, competitors, that you're sleeping on the back, but are you improving that as well? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's so funny is because early on when me and Justin first started, uh, you, know, when, you know, doing good in classic physique, and we wanted to bring up, you know, my other body parts, I asked Justin, I said, well, um, you know, since my back is so big, you know, should I just kind of lay off my back and just, you know, train really hard on the other ones? He was like, no, George, I want you to go as crazy as possible on back, freak that thing out. So I was like, okay, sure. And that's so, so yeah, we definitely made improvements on the back, you know, uh, brought in some you know, more thickness on the middle part of the back, and, you know, we're, we're going to be crazy. That's part of what made Dorian Yates unbeatable oh, yeah. in the 90s was his back. I yes. mean, you talk about Dorian, talk about backs, yes. but you're right there. Thank you. So now the Arnold, what does the Arnold, competing at the Arnold mean to you? I mean, when was the first time that you actually went to the Arnold? My first time going to the Arnold was actually uh, last year. Yes. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, to yeah, see? I, yeah, just to, just to watch, you know, and it was an amazing experience, you know, because, you know, I was, you know, just down in there in the expo and, and talking and taking pictures with a lot of the fans and everything, mm -hmm. and it was just an unbelievable experience, and, uh, and it's going to be even more special now because now I'm actually going to be competing, you know, at the Arnold. You know, and the Arnold Classic is a very prestigious show. Sure. You know, I mean, I grew up watching all of Arnold's movies, Commando, Terminator, you know. And, it's, you know, and, and to be competing in his show is a true honor, and I'm very excited. And you'll get your picture with him, and he'll hand you the oh, cup. And oh, exactly, <laughs> exactly, you know. <laughs> That'll be your Instagram picture for a couple of weeks. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so let's just say you win the Arnold. Right now, of course, are you going to take a break? Are you going to go right into the Olympia? What are you going to do? Uh, well, uh, if we win the Arnold, uh, when we win the Arnold, go. uh, we're going to be we're going to hang it up and we're going to get ready for the uh, 2019 Olympia. You know, because um, that's our ultimate goal is to become the classic physique Mr. Olympia. Awesome. Now you have a new sponsor too, right? Absolutely. Talk about them. Redcon One, baby, the highest state of readiness. Yeah, I mean, I, I love my Redcon One team. Shout out to Aaron Singerman, you know, um, you know, the uh, athlete manager, Rudy. You know, when he approached me, he told me that Aaron single-handedly, you know, picked me out, said he wanted to bring me on board, and um, and that and that meant a lot. I mean, because Redcon One is is a great company. So right. when I found out that they were interested in me, you know, like I was 
so psyched, you know, and so, and after speaking with them, you know, multiple times, we felt like it was a great fit. I love all the products, and, um, you know, it's just working out great for me. So, yeah, shout out to Redcon 1. Love you guys. Congratulations on that. So, going to the Olympia now, last year's Olympia came in third place, right? You had a, a, a ton more guys in that class now. There's a lot more guys, and there's going to be even more this year, yeah. right? So what keeps you motivated? Is it that? Is it, is it someone that you competed against, someone co coming up, or is it just generally you want that title? Everyone has their like, motivation, but you know, people out there want to know what's the motivation to get you up every day? Because this isn't easy. This is hard work. So what keeps you going? I mean, honestly, what keeps me going, you know, a lot of times uh, people feel like they need some kind of um, outside entity mm -hmm. to, to motivate them. With me, I, I use... I have motivation from within. I, I, I motivate myself. Right. You know, when, when I realize that for both Olympias, still to this day, nobody has truly seen me at my 100% best on stage mm -hmm. yet. Yet. The fact that I know that, that motivates me to keep going, keep pushing. Like you said, they got, we got new talent coming into the division. We knew that this, that this uh, 2018 Olympia was going to be harder than 2017. Right. So we knew we had to stay ahead of the curve to you know, either maintain our spot or, 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 or you know, progress. So, um, and it's going to be no different from 2019. It's going to keep getting harder. So we have to stay ahead of that curve. And that's what motivates me to just keep pushing, get up every day, and stay on my meals, stay with my training, and train hard every single day. Well, it's definitely working. You look great six weeks out. Hopefully we'll follow up with you before you hit the Arnold in another couple of weeks. And want to take uh, thanks for taking the time, George. Mm -hmm. And you can see George's posing video up on NPC News Online. And George, what's your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram is George P underscore double. That's <laughs> D-A-B-U-L-L. -L. So you can't get it confused because I'm not the bull. I'm double, okay? <laughs> okay? Well, good luck on stage. And this is Frank Seppi for NPC News Online.